So I uh, narrowed it down to a start capacitor. I had to go down to Granger down in Greensboro and uh, pick up one that was very similar, 125 volt, 400 microfarad cap. The only problem is that cap uh, does not fit in the little um, metal housing. So I tie wrapped it to it until I get one from Grizzly. Um, so I believe that this is the same issue I have with my um, starter mode or uh, the Grizzly table saw that just this, they put these crappy capacitors on here. Now here's the capacitor and uh, it's basically shorted. So I checked the capacitance with my voltmeter and we can um, try that. And <clears throat> you can do this with a uh, uh, resistive too, but uh, there basically is no capacitance on it. So if I, so I can do this with one hand. So if you look here, it basically, you look on the, the meter, it basically is giving me nothing. And then if I, um, I tried the one I got from Granger. I actually bought two of them from Granger. I uh, want a little bit bigger. And um, if you put this on resistance, what it's supposed to go to is it's supposed to charge up and then um, the, the resistance will go to infinity. But what happens here is the resistance here is basically nothing. So I might get it on there. Anyway, um, yeah, so when I start it up now, check this out. Watch how fast it starts up. There goes the centrifugal bit, uh, switch. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to hot glue that sucker down and, uh, I got tie wrap. I made a little pigtail, um, so that I had the right connectors and everything. And, uh, you know, you spend, uh, I don't know why, but I spent about 10,000 bucks in Grizzly Tools in the last uh, six months. And I've had issues with every single one of them. Um, motor issue with this one. Now this planer, I mean this joiner, oh, it's fantastic once, you know, when it was running. And it ran for, so I got it on Tuesday, put it together by Wednesday and it's Monday morning. So it ran what, three, four, five days. But this morning I came out here real early and it, um, just wouldn't run and uh yeah there's no hesitation now with that uh that uh, american made cap actually i think it's made in china but designed in america so, uh, check it out here we go one more time So there were some. Uh, there was a guy on YouTube on, on my other video who uh, who mentioned it was probably the starter cap on the the other motor. So um, I may go and replace that one too. So I'll call Grizzly and have them send me a new cap. Um, anyway, that's it.